Day wedding? Will 2018 be the biggest year for royal watches? The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are going to have their third royal baby and Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made their first public appearances at the Invictus Games. Could 2018 be the biggest year ever for fans of the British royal family? What sorts of events should royal watchers be looking for this next year? Kate and William's royal baby on September 4, it was announced that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were expecting their third child. When is the baby due? Some predict the third royal baby could be born as early as February or as late as April. There has been some speculation that the announcement was made before the 12-week mark of the pregnancy because Kate had to miss her royal duties to hyperemesis gravidrum, an acute form of morning sickness. Once Duchess Catherine is feeling better, she will be back in public with her royal duties once again. Then, the talk will be all about her baby bump and what fashion-forward pregnancy attire Kate wears. An added bonus is that there are rumors that Kate's younger sister Pippa is also going to announce that she is pregnant. The two Middleton sisters have wanted to be pregnant together, so if this should be true, there will be double the baby bumps. Meghan Mark and Prince Harry engagement and wedding. Despite rumors of a secret engagement between Harry and the Suits actress, nothing is official until the palace formally announces the engagement and the happy couple are at Buckingham Palace before the press showing off a gorgeous engagement ring. Should the American actress and Prince Harry get engaged before the year is out, most likely the wedding will be in 2018. If the couple follows Kate and William's timeline, they will marry around six months after the formal engagement is made. The next question is whether or not the wedding will be private or broadcast like William and Catherine's 2011 nuptials. When Queen Elizabeth's second son, Prince Andrew, married Sarah Ferguson, their wedding was was seen around the world. Yet, according to Hello magazine, Meghan is a divorcee and it might not be appropriate to have a grand wedding on the scale of Will and Kate's. If the wedding is indeed public, the compao of Hollywood actors and royal family members should be quite fun. Will Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, Fergie, remarry? When Kate and William announced that they were having a third child, Prince Andrew was pushed down the royal bloodline to seventh in line to the British throne. This means that the Duke of York no longer has to ask his mother, Queen Elizabeth, permission to marry. He can marry anyone that he chooses. Although Andrew and Fergie have been divorced over 20 years now, the couple has remained close, even owning a house together. This summer, Fergie went to Balmoral with Prince Andrew, fueling speculations of a remarriage, but a few royal watchers still did not believe that the Queen would approve, because of Sarah's very humiliating and very public mistakes, and because Prince Philip has been very public about his disdain for her. Yet, Prince Andrew may believe he is walking on eggshells as he has been very active in trying to get his two blood princesses Beatrice and Eugenie royal privileges once again. Perhaps if he succeeds at helping his daughters, the couple can finally remarry. Until then, it is clear that the two are still very much in each other's lives and their priority is their children. Will Princess Eugenie marry Jack Brooks Bank? There have been reports that the couple has been engaged for over a year now. Could Queen Elizabeth's granddaughter finally tie the knot with her longtime boyfriend? The main issue that appears to be holding them back from an engagement announcement is the condition of their future residence, Ivy Cottage. Located near Prince Harry's abode at Kensington Palace, the residence has a damp problem. They do not want to pay for repairs to a home that they do not even own, and according to Female First, Eugenie's wedding plans go hand in hand with moving into the three-bedroom cottage. When they can move in is when they can start to plan their wedding. Royal Watchers, what are you most excited to see in 2018? Meghan and Harry get engaged and or married? The birth of William and Kate's third royal baby? A marriage in the York family? 
Please share who your favorite Moyle is and what you are most looking forward to below.